Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to look at the brand new X lookup function. This function is going to be the successor of the ever popular VLOOKUP. And even though VLOOKUP is so popular, it comes with its limitations. And the XLOOKUP function promises to solve many, many of the limitations that are posed by VLOOKUP. At the moment, XLOOKUP is only available in Excel Insider Edition, but it will be rolled out in Office 365 soon. Now, before we get stuck into this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit the blog post. There's a link below this video that links to a blog post because in that blog post, there is a learn and earn activity. That's right. You can learn, you can earn while you're learning here with the Excel Club. So do head over to the blog post and get involved in the discussion and earn yourself some rewards. So we're going to study this X lookup in terms of an exact match. It's really, really simple, but it looks a little scary at the start. So let's look at the syntax. We have X lookup and it's looking for a lookup value. Then it's looking for an a lookup array. A return array and then we've got these two optional items we have match mode and we have search mode these are new now it looks a little bit scary let's go through them the lookup value is a value that you are going to be looking for the lookup array is where you're looking for the value the return array is where the values that you want to be returned come from then we got this match mode and our default match mode is exact, and that is not the case with the lookup. We can then do other match modes as well, such as match to a smaller value, match to a larger value, and we have wildcard matches. Then we have search mode, another completely new feature. The default is to search from the top to the bottom, but you can also search from the bottom to the top. And in addition to that, you can search for binaries. Now, okay, it looks really, really scary, but these last two items are optional. Therefore, to do an exact match, we only need to complete the first three parameters, the lookup value, the lookup array, and the return array. Let's look up the cost price of our banana items using the old VLOOKUP. And the old V lookup first looks for a lookup value, which we'll select to be our bananas. Then it looks for a whole table array. So we can select our entire table. After that, it looks for a column index number. So what column is it that you want to return the data for? Then we have this range lookup. So we have to, if we want an exact match, it's not the default. Approximate match is default, so we have to select exact match. This will then, I returned the wrong column there. This then will return the cost price of the item bananas. Now let's do this with our new X lookup and see how it looks with our X lookup. First of all, we want our lookup value, nice and simple. Then we want our lookup array. This is just the column or the row that contains the data where you find the lookup value. It's not the entire table. Then it's looking for a return array where we want to return our cost prices. Now there's one thing to note here that's very, very important. Your lookup array and your return array must be the same size. If they don't, you are going to get an error. So if we were just to select for our return array down to F10, just to show you how this will return an error, we get a value error. But let's go back in and edit that formula. So it takes the correct value and hit enter. And now we have pulled back the correct value. So if we go to lemons, we can see the cost price is seven cent. We can also look up to the left. Now, this was a limitation of the VLOOKUP that we couldn't look up to the left, but with XLOOKUP, 
we can look up to the left. So let's take our region. We can look it up in our lookup array. And look, we can take our return array to the left. We could take it to the right. We could take it up or we could take it down. It doesn't really matter once the array is of the same size. So we have been able to return that to the left from that. X lookup can also do a horizontal lookup. Now, previously to do a horizontal lookup, we'd have to use our H lookup formula. And this will take our lookup value. And then we would need our table array. After that, we would need our row index number. And we can just close the bracket there and we see we get Kildare. Now we can do this with our X lookup function. So we can look up our region. We can look up our products. We can then look up our return array. And we see we get the same value. So we don't need another function. Now here's something else that's really, really cool as well. When we do our VLOOKUP, if we insert a column of data, our VLOOKUP breaks. We were looking to pull up the cost price, but now we have pulled in need because the, everything has moved over by inserting a column. So our VLOOKUP is broke, but our X lookup stead in place. Now what we haven't looked at, and if we just go back in here for a second and press comma, we then have our exact match types and we could skip that too. And we have our different search types as well. I'm not going to go through them in this video, but there are additional things such as when you're searching for an approximate match and your search modes that you can actually do with this amazing X lookup function. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you will like and subscribe to my video channel. And again, like I said, don't forget to hop over to our blog because there's a learn and earn activity and you can earn some rewards for practicing what you have learned in this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye now.